brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to replace the blower or the heater or AC fan on this 2001 Chevy Malibu, same as any 97 to 03. Tools you'll need are 7 millimeter and 732 inch sockets with a ratchet and extension and you also want some type of flashlight or um, any kind of other portable light to give yourself some light up under, up under the dash. Start underneath. Okay. On this side you have a little panel. You may not need to take this out, but I do it anyways, just give me some extra room. And you want to pull down uh, the center of this pin, pull it out, and then this comes out. And now there's two 7mm bolts. Okay, one there, and then one right over here. We'll fast forward through removing those two 7mm bolts. And then this pulls out, over, and down. Okay. Then you're actually going to want to remove this light bulb. And if your battery is still plugged in and that's lit, it will be hot. Okay. And now you want to grab your computer here and slide it to the side and down. And now you can see your blower motors right here. And we'll fast forward a little bit. You just want to use your um, 732 socket with your ratchet and extension and uh, remove those three bolts. Comes down. Here's your lead. Pull back on the tab. Pull it out. Okay, here's the motor that was in the car. Uh, new motor from One Auto. I'm actually thinking that this motor was probably a replacement uh, because it's got a shorter fan cage on it. Um, this motor will bolt in. Uh, it's got the correct connection and everything on it. Okay, this part of the motor that has kind of an oblong edge that goes towards the front of the car. Okay, you can see here is the oblong edge. Okay, let's take our lead, pull it down out of the way. Oblong edge of the motor here. Put it up in. Okay, as it goes up in there, rotate it. Line it up. Start one bolt. Okay, we'll speed up here again. So you put the motor up in there, get one of the bolts started, then start the other ones. Um, then use your socket, your ratchet, and even your extension and tighten them up when you tighten them. Um, you don't want to over tighten them because you could strip the plastic housing. Just want to have them uh, be nice and firm. Now this computer goes right back up into that bracket here. Let's slide it into place. Put 
here. Roll back in. Okay. This large one, you want to put it back up in there. And right here. Right up in here in this corner. You want to push it up and in. Get that trim pin on place, um, put it up in place, and then start your uh, bolt on the left side, and then start the one on the right side. Um, and you want to tighten these. When you tighten them up again, uh, just like anything in this repair, make them firm, but don't over tighten them. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.